Google announced a slate of new features and AI-powered tools coming to Chromebook laptops this year, and I was there to hear it all. It's Aaron here from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International in New York City at Google's headquarters, where I'm learning about all of the new Chromebook and Chromebook Plus technology. Google announced that Gemini, the company's AI engine, will now be baked into all Chromebook Plus laptops. Gemini will be able to help with idea generation, organizing your day, and even help you write content or help you read and summarize materials you find on the web. Uh, let's start with something fun. We are bringing generative imaging to Chromebooks. We are very excited to say you can now use generative imaging to, generative imaging to do two things. The first one is we want you to create stunning images to make customized wallpapers. The other is to allow you to use Google AI to create custom video calling backgrounds. So the idea is when you log into a video conferencing solution, you should be able to create professional looking but personalized backgrounds that it feels like it's you but you're professional. And because we are baked into the operating system, we want to make sure that you can take it anywhere. If you're using Google Meets, we're very happy. But if you're using anything else, Teams or Zoom or whatever it happens to be, you can also use this feature there as well. Google execs also spoke about another new feature which will use AI or Gemini to help you write on Chromebook Plus. Help Me Write can prompt you whether you're starting from scratch or even if you've got copy to work with, it can make improvements on that too. One of the unique things about this feature is that it doesn't happen in a separate app or window, it happens where you're already working. We want to meet users where they are, like in flow of creation process. You should be able to select text, right click and get all these options to improve it, or click on a blank thing, say help me write, generate some text here, and it'll just do it in flow. You shouldn't have to copy this, send it off to some sidebar uh, app, sort of edit things and then bring it back. That's not what we're looking for. On that same note, AI assistance with writing is designed to work with all kinds of platforms and apps, including documents and web pages. After the news conference, I was let loose with some of Google's team to see these tools and a few others firsthand, like Magic Editor for Photos, which has previously only been available on Pixel phones. Magic Editor lets you fix, tweak, and enhance photos in all kinds of ways. I want to remove the sign in this image and then move the Android from the corner into the middle. Here, let's move and then on using my trackpad I can adjust the image as well as get a little bit more nuance if I want a little bit. And then get some options for how the picture can be a little bit more dynamic here. So tweaking the sky. Google also showed off new accessibility features with Chromebook Plus that means users with limited mobility can still control their laptops by just using facial gestures. If, for example, a user only can uh, use their eyes and not their mouth, we can use most of the prominent actions around their eyes, squinting, blinking, etc. Um, and yeah, uh, similarly, you can add more functionality based on how much the user can do with their face. These new features are available on a host of new Chromebook Plus laptops and tablets as part of a package called Google One AI Premium. For now, the plan will be available free for 12 months if you buy a new Chromebook Plus. The plan includes access to Gemini Advanced, 2 terabytes of storage, and use of Gemini in Docs, Sheets, Slides, Gmail, and more. After that, it'll run $19.99 a month. Don't forget to hit me up with any questions you might have about the Chromebooks or the new Chromebook technology. And don't forget, for all the latest tech news and reviews, you can find me at Tech Gadgets Canada and TechGadgetsInternational.com.